So we're firstly going to take our two sheets of puff pastry and just place them down with the backs on on the counter and then we're going to slice them into three equal portions like this and then we're going to slice them again across the middle twice to get nine equal portions. Next we're going to take our slices of cheese and we're going to cut them in half and then we're going to cut them across the middle so that we get triangles so they're going to fit onto one half of the squares of puff pastry like this and we're simply going to do this with all of the squares until it looks like this next we're going to get our frozen spinach now I've left this to thaw and drain and so that we've just got the pieces of spinach and then we're going to actually put one teaspoon of spinach on each piece of cheese so that it looks like this so next we're going to take one beaten egg and we're simply going to brush around the edges of each square and this is where they're going to fit together so this is just going to help to seal them so we do it on every single one around the edges of the square now we're going to take one slice from a block of spinach so you've got this about that thin we're going to cut it in half and then we're going to cut that into cubes and each cube is going to be placed on top of the spinach like this it's this simple so next we're going to take the empty corner and pop it over the top onto the full corner to make a triangle and simply press down all the edges and fold in the corners like this because we've got it on the plastic sheet that helps to just keep it all together next we're just going to pop it onto a lightly sprayed oven rack and then we're going to just brush over the top of each one with our beaten egg before we pop it in the oven now we need to put it in a hot oven 190 degrees for 15 minutes and we will have to turn it after nine minutes so these are what come out after nine minutes and as you see when I turn them over the pastry is just a little bit raw so then we're going to pop them back into the oven for a further six minutes and then they'll look like this absolutely beautiful crispy spinach cheese triangles Look at that, absolutely delicious. So now we're just going to plate them up and there they are. Beautiful spinach cheese triangles. I hope you enjoy them as much as we do. So please like and subscribe if you enjoy my videos and then you'll get to see my other videos online.